Hello there, this is Eric Matisoff with Adobe, and I'd like to walk you through some really cool stuff that's built right into Analysis Workspace. If you're like me, you've been spending a lot more time in the Analysis Workspace tool lately, and if you haven't checked it out, there's a really great feature called Segment Comparison that's built in here. And I'm not actually going to walk you through that. There's lots of great blog posts and information about Segment Comparison, and I don't have to tell you how awesome it is, but what I can walk you through is something even cooler. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say it's cooler, but something that's sort of hidden within the tool that allows you to have even more flexibility with the way that you create reports. So here I am logged into Analysis Workspace, and when I get in here, normally the first thing that I'll do is I'll pick a dimension, maybe refer or type, drag and drop that into my um, freeform table here, and maybe select a couple of different metrics. There's visits, here's unique visitors, and now I've got my report built. Well, that is one way to build a report. And sure, it can certainly be interesting, but I like to do something even cooler. And what I'd like to walk you through is something that I like to call segments as a dimension. What this means is normally when we're in that world of we've got a standard report built in here, um, once we've got it built, we've got our dimension, we've got our metric, we can take any segment and drag and drop it and drag it right onto um, the workspace and now we're filtered to just a specific device type. I can remove that and switch it maybe over to, to desktop and now we can see once again we've got it updated. Now again, that's cool, that's amazing how fast it is, super valuable data in there, but I'd like to do something a little different. What I'd like to do is I'd like to actually do a comparison of a few different segments. And the way that I can do that is by first starting with a segment rather than starting with a metric or starting with a dimension. Instead, I'm going to start with a segment. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with that segment. When I click and start dragging it, you'll notice there's actually two different places I can place it. I can place it in the normal place, which is right here at the top of the report or at the top of the workspace. And when I do that, that'll apply it to all the different form, freeform tables and visualizations below it. But what I'm going to do is instead, I'm going to put it here within the freeform table. And when I do that, what you'll notice is that my segment has now been listed as a dimensional value within my freeform table. And so that's especially cool because now I've got device type desktop here. I've got my occurrences as my default metric, but I can easily drag in. Maybe we'll do the same thing as before. We'll pull in visits and we'll pull in visitors. And now I can see, all right, for device type desktop, I can see visitors, visits, and occurrences uh, for my time frame. That's great. Not especially mind-blowing, though. Um, we could have just as easily created this by dragging and dropping those metrics um, into my table and pulling the segment up here into the standard place that you would put it. Now, the cool thing, the magical part, is what you can do next. Now, what if I wanted to compare desktop to tablet? And I can do this, once again, by taking my segment, clicking and dragging it, and you'll notice now I've got a new place that I can drop it. I want to add it actually as a second dimensional value within my report. And the way that I can do that is by dragging it over into my freeform table. And the one thing you want to be careful of is you actually want to drop it on top of the word segments in the top left of your table. You don't want to actually drill into your, your previously defined segments. So you drop it onto segments. And when I do that, I'm going to release it it actually adds device type tablet as a second row within the report. So now I've got one row, which is desktop, and I've got my three metrics tied to it, and I've got my second row, my second dimensional value um, listed as here for tablet. So then I can see my visitors, visits, and occurrences for that specific segment. Now what if I want to add a third one? Again, just as easy. I take my third segment, my mobile phone device type. I'm going to drag it and drop it. Again, I don't want to put it on top of the other values. I want to put it at the top of the column. So I drop it right onto the word segments. It adds it as a third row here. Now I've got desktop compared to mobile compared to tablet. 
all within my three metrics here. Super, super fun, really, really fast. And it's something you could never even dream of putting together in reports and analytics. And it just took us a few seconds to build it right here in, the, in our analysis workspace um, table here. Of course, we have the opportunity to then segment this again. Maybe I want to limit my um, set of data to only a specific country. I can drag in a segment just at the top here, and then that'll apply and filter down to each of the different metrics and maybe what we would call our dimensions, but really our segment says dimensions here within the table. Um, once again, we have all the options you would normally expect. We can choose to trend this information. We can uh, mess around with it in any normal way that we normally would. And of course, it'll update just the way that you expect it. Anyway, I hope that you found this valuable. Um, have fun playing around with it. Have fun analyzing, and I'll talk to you soon.